but you cussing and yelling at me is not good. But they're just saying, like, you know, like, it's time to pull the plug if this happens. And now I'm thinking, like, most definitely, I truly believe that they can come back now. A hundred percent. I believe it so strongly. I believe a person can come back from that. All because... like on every episode <clears throat> it's so backwards you know like the right thing is never taught you never see it you know none of that they want you to see that and now it's like oh. doesn't that make sense though Search it or anything, <laughs> but that's all I was thinking about. I really need to stop eating. you catch up? Is it stress? I'm stressed. I'm so stressed. And I keep talking to myself. I've been having very long conversations with myself. But I'm doing pretty good. Okay. Definitely. <clears throat> oh, yeah. 
I meant like I'm doing good because like the voices in my head <clears throat> they're telling me good things they're telling me like you got this and all kinds of empowering crap elevate elevate your mind and I keep telling myself things to be better mentally. I'm finally asleep. You know what? I'm telling y'all to pray and I'm thinking like, did I really pray about my stresses today? I do pray like, I can clearly see whenever my husband is not doing well, so he needs to take valerian root or passion flower or a mixture of both. And I always pray before that Jehovah tells me how many pills of each is going to help him get him back to where he's normal. I always pray for that. But it's like I forget to pray for myself. I don't think I pray for me at all. I didn't. That kind of makes me sad. I don't know why. It kind of makes me sad because, duh. How often do I pray for myself? I'm praying for my babies. I'm praying for me to be a better mom, but not even for me, for my kids. I'm praying to be a better wife. That's kind of sad. I don't pray for me. Let me stuff my face more. I think the music got me messed up. <laughs> the music has me messed up right now. Oh yeah, big time. Um, <clears throat> my thyroid. I have Hashimoto's and side effect of that is tachycardia my heart rate will start to be all fast and psycho like <sighs> like my heartbeat will start to race and it'll, it, it stresses me out and that's why I take passion flower because passion flower it calms down my heartbeat um, but I rarely deal with issues with my heart anymore since starting CMOS. It's crazy. What was I going to say? Oh, Vaughn is finally asleep. And that makes me... I'm able to, like, rest. Like, be able to breathe. But I'm going to wake him up. I'm going to wake him up in the, in the night to give him more valerian root. Um, it's so stressful when he's not. just saying stuff and the way he said it you could tell that that took a lot of courage for him to say because normally he wouldn't he would just <clears throat> stuff in whatever he's feeling and not tell me that's he doesn't want me to deal with you know more stress or whatever so that was really good that he told me that I already knew he was struggling because that's his pre-seizure mode. I know what that feels like. I mean, I go through it all the time. I know. I feel his energy. I feel when he's not okay. I, um, I can feel whenever rage is starting to set in. Or I can feel whenever, like, sadness. And Vaughn's sadness when he's in, like, pre-seizure mode is, like like suicidal type sadness like real talk like in every sense like there's been like you know scares with him and it's terrifying for me because I when he gets down and before he's gonna have a seizure it's like one of 
extremes. And uh, yeah, it gets like suicidal depression like that quickly. So it's a battle with trying to get him to a level. And it's, I'm just doing that by feeling what he feels like, his energy or whatever. monitor him and see if there's any behavioral changes or if there's other things that I notice is happening or whatever. Baby, what did someone ask you earlier? Did your wife dress you?